how to set up Wix email 2024 Wix business email tutorial. Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, I am gonna be showing you how you can set up your Wix email in the easiest and most simplest way. It's uh, a way to, you know, actually do your Wix business email setup, okay? And it's pretty simple, it's pretty easy, and we're gonna be talking about it in great depth. Now, to start things off, obviously, to set up a business email, you're going to want to make sure you have a proper Wix account, okay? Because without a proper Wix account, you will not be able to do this. Now, people are under the misconception that maybe Wix business email is just created after you just start or create an account on Wix. But that is not the case. That is not how it works. You are going to want to make sure to have a um, you know proper functioning and a proper running account. So once you get that for yourself okay once you create that for yourself what's going to happen from there is you are going to go to the setting up through your dashboard so obviously you have welcome uh, back to your dashboard etc etc now to actually start you can obviously come to marketing and seo to actually see what email you're using to market your actual you know belongings and stuff but to see your actual email we're going to come to home. Okay, this is your home section. And here you can see it says no business email. How sad. No, because if you have no business email, that, you know, kills the whole purpose of having a business page, having a business website. So for no business email, what we are going to be doing is uh, we're going to go ahead to contacts. Okay, and you can actually create communications and community. So I'm going to come to communications over here. And once you go here, you're going to click on business email. And once you come on business email, it's going to say select a domain or build trust with a professional email address. Okay. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. That is exactly what I want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for myself and build trust with, you know, the actual people I want to build a professional email for and build a professional email with. So once this is done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply go over ahead and click on connect a domain. So once we do that, from here it's gonna say, what domain do you want to connect to my site one? Obviously you can get any domain for yourself from you know providers like GoDaddy or Namecheap, you know, all the providers that uh, are pretty famous and well known for creating and providing you domains. So you can find it right here. Okay, go to uh, you know, find your perfect information, etc. And uh, once you are over here, from here, what you're going to want to do is just search or find any perfect domain that uh, you can get for yourself or you can create for yourself. So let's say I'm going to go ahead and search John's shop. I'm going to call it that and click on search domains. And once you do that, here it says johnshopping.com, etc. You can obviously go ahead and make it yours in the easiest, most simplest way. And once you have gone ahead and made it yours, from there, simply come here and paste the domain. Once you paste the domain over here, simply click on Let's Go. Once you click on Let's Go, that will go ahead and set the business email with your domain and once your domain is connected and your business email is associated with it they're going to ask you if you want to keep your current wix email as your business email or create a new business email now i would generally recommend you to create a new business email because the current business email that you have on wix should only be used as a personal wix email now the reason for that is because we don't want to mix in our business with you know our e-commerce so, you know, our business could constitute to forms and, you know, email marketing and stuff. But I don't want that to get mixed up with the, my e-commerce settings, my e-commerce workings, okay? Even though they both do, you know, drop down from the same branch. But I'd still not recommend you to do that because that would uh, go ahead and ruin a lot of things for you. Trust me. So... Once we have gotten the idea of all of that, what you're simply going to do, and like once you've gotten a domain and everything, is what you're simply going to do is you are going to go ahead to, you know, your basic um, home page over here. 
and obviously over here it's going to say you have the proper email connected now you also have this place where it says connect domain so you can obviously uh if you want to save yourself some time you can directly go here and connect a domain for yourself first after connecting a domain for yourself you can simply go straight ahead and uh, start working with the other parts or other aspects of your page or other aspects of your design okay because it takes you through a very simple curve and uh, the learning curve is pretty simple on uh, you know wix as well it helps you understand things really simply really easily and it helps a lot through all of your um you know basic uh, working and all that so yeah that's pretty much about it for this video now if you enjoy watching this video all the way till the end please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel and if you want to see more videos like this in the future where I explain more things about Wix, let me know down in the comments below and I will be making a whole lot more for you. But yeah, that's pretty much about it for this video. Thank you for watching all the way till the end and I will be seeing all of you in the next video. Goodbye.